You're calling uh, markets aggregators of information. Sounds like a very Hayekian uh, uh, concept. Uh, well, it's the relationship between Hayekian thinking and experimental economics or your own thinking, your own career. Well, I think uh, it's interesting that Hayek had, had a, ended up having a great deal of influence on me, uh, largely because of my experimental work. Now, I had read Hayek's really pioneering paper of 1945 uh, um, on economics and knowledge, the pro kind of the problem of, of knowledge where he d develops the idea of, of a market as a information system uh, and as a means of, of aggregating uh, dispersed uh, knowledge. And he was using that in part as a critique of traditional equilibrium economics. And because traditional equilibrium economics took given information and asked uh, how does the given state of information of willingness to people to buy or sell and enable you to describe an equilibrium in the market. And Hayek was very critical of that. He said, you know, given to whom? <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> that, that what real people do, Hayek argued, is acquire they, what they need to know in order to make decisions in, in, the, in, the, in market processes. And I couldn't appreciate fully the, uh, the meaning of that argument until I had had with maybe 20 years along in my career as an experimentalist and I, I began to realize that what I was learning in the laboratory was could be related very closely to what Hayek was talking about. And I think Hayek is actually quite hard to understand for, for uh, um, most people, he, it's, uh, it's abstract, it's deep, he's not long on examples <laughs> to, uh, to kind of clarify and indicate what he has in, in mind. And when you, I think, look at what's happened in experimental economics, look at what Hayek is talking about, put them together, you have a way of, of describing, explaining, giving examples of a lot of the propositions in Hayek. And this is something that I just gradually came more and more to see over the years. And, I, and, it, and, and then I read more and more Hayek as I, I got into this uh, process. And, uh, was involved in conferences, uh, particularly Liberty Fund conferences, which have influenced me a lot because a lot of those Liberty Fund conferences, uh, we had readings in Hayek and also Smith and Hume and Ferguson, uh, the, the Scottish Enlightenment. So now I see all of that literature from the, through the eyes of an experimentalist. And and to me, what the important thing about experimental economics is that it gives you a window on uh, on how people actually solve problems in institutional market contexts where you can sometimes make use of traditional economic theory but also a lot of the ideas that, can, that came from the uh, uh, Scottish Enlightenment that Hayek has kind of prominently been followed up on in the 20th century.